Okay, Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Good morning, morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, so uh, today I have to turn off my camera because I'm I only have a laptop without a desktop, uh, without a monitor. Okay, so um, so let's start. So today we will continue on um, our lecture uh, from Monday which is the uh, trans function for translational mechanical system. So on Monday, um, I discussed tutorial until um, system of multiple degree of freedom. Okay. <clears throat> so for today, I will continue on um, looking at system that has different kind of uh, input okay so in previous lecture i showed to you um, a translational mechanical system that has input uh, based on force okay so sometimes we can also have um, input that is based on some other things for example in this case for this case study it's about the car suspension model in which the input is based on the road surface or the road altitude or displacement, okay? displacement of the road or the road surface. So instead of uh, having an input force, so we can also have uh, or replace the force using um, displacement, okay? or sometimes we can use velocity. So if you have a uh, road surface altitude or displacement, um, the derivation is similar, but the input force will be slightly different. Okay. So let's look at this example. So for a car suspension system, usually we can model the suspension system using two masses and uh, a spring and then connecting both of the mass and then maybe one spring connecting one of the mass to the road surface so here two uh, masses uh, represent the body the body of the car and also the wheel <laughs> and then the shock absorber is represented by a spring and a damper and then another spring that connects the wheel and the road space. Okay, so maybe this spring represent the tire, uh, kekenyalan tire, okay? The tire of uh, elasticity. Okay, so when we have these two um, um, degree of freedom system, we can um, draw the free body diagram similar to what we have learned on Monday and last week, okay? So let's look at um, let's look at the body first. Okay. If, uh, on the body we have one spring and one damper that is connected to the body. Okay. So here we have um, okay, and then the body rep uh, is represented by uh, y to represent the displacement of the body. Okay. So here we have. Um, the force from the spring and force from the damper. Okay, so since Y is acting upward, so the force from the spring and damper will try to resist the motion of the body from going up. Okay, so it will pull the body uh, downwards. So that's why we have uh, KSY and BY dot. And then because the spring and damper is also connected to the wheel, so we have to include so here we have ks minus x minus ks x and minus b times x dot okay or if you want to draw uh, 
to or you want to separate the force um, and don't want to include it uh, in bracket you can draw the force uh, upward okay And then, uh, because this is a mass, so we have the inertia, okay? So inertia is all. Okay, so you can write it, uh, the equation of motion. So um, best practice is to have this force as well, okay? But in this example, it doesn't include the force from the inertia, but um, for you in exam, Please include this in your pre-body diagram. Okay. If you have inertia, please include the. Uh, if you have mass, please include the inertia in the pre-body diagram. Okay. So I think for the body, you understand how to uh, develop the free body diagram. So now let's look at uh, how to draw the free body diagram on the wheel. So for the wheel, we have. Uh, three components connected to the wheels. We are, so we have KS, uh, spring KS, damper B, and spring KW. So we have uh, three uh, forces okay, generated from these three elements. So we have uh, KS X, and then BX dot, and K W X, and then the spring K S and damper B are connected to body M two, so we have to consider the force from uh, M two or from Y. So we have K S Y and B Y dot. Okay, if you compare with this figure, it's the same. Okay. But uh, the direction or the uh, the force location drawn on the free body diagram is different, but it will produce the same equation of motion. Okay, and then uh, we have to include inertia. So M1 uh, X double dot. <clears throat> Okay, now we have this road surface here. Okay, so for road surface, um, what you have to do is you have to treat it like another degree of freedom. Okay, that's uh, the easy way to understand this. Okay, so treat it like another degree of freedom. So maybe the, there is a degree of freedom here going up, okay, represented by R. So spring KW. Is also connected with uh, R. Okay. So uh, KWR, the force KWR will be acting upward because uh, it is similar to uh, Y. Okay. So uh, any forces that is not X is going upward, and all forces that has X will try to resist the motion of the box. Okay. So here we can draw. Uh, the force from R, KW, R acting upward. Okay, so uh, if you compare with the figure on the left, the forces are the same okay, when you write the equation of motion. Okay, so when you have all the free body diagram correct, then you can write the equation of motion. And then uh, we can uh, apply Laplace transform. And then if you want to find uh, Y over R, then you use uh, Kramer's rule. Okay? So this is uh, this uh, transformation is already simplified okay? after applying Kramer's rule. Okay, any question before we go to tutorial question?
nousee, <köhön> nousee. Okay, so let's look at uh, the tutorial. So we have discussed until tutorial uh, two, question number two. Now let's look at question number three. Okay, so a dynamic absorber is shown. Okay, so this dynamic absorber. This system is representative of many situations involving the vibration of machines containing unbalanced components. The parameters M2, K2, and B2 may be chosen so that the main mass M1 does not vibrate in response to foundation vibration. So question A, determine the equation of motions describing the dynamic of the system. Okay, so let's um, look at M2 first, okay? because M2 doesn't have, uh, doesn't connect to the uh, displacement. So we have displacement here. So instead of uh, having input force, so we have input displacement represented by Y0, okay? And then M2, uh, displacement of M2 is Y2 and displacement of M1 is Y1. So let's look at uh, M2. Okay, so uh, firstly, uh, determine how many uh, components that are connected to M2. So we have spring K2. So we have spring K2 connected to M2. And we have this B2 already labeled to you. So B2 here represent the uh, friction between M2 and the massless frame. Okay, so if you look at the massless frame, it is connected to M1. So if you can imagine, uh, if Okay. So if you move M1, then M2 will uh, will be bergesel, okay, with the massless frame. So uh, the massless frame is not a wall because uh, the geseran depends on movement of M1. So it's something like uh, a damper. B2 is something like a damper connecting M1 and M2. Okay, so if you can, uh, maybe if you can redraw, then M2, we have spring K2, and we have a damper uh, B2, okay, connected to M1. So you can uh, convert the figure, okay. If you uh, if you pening look at this figure, so the B two the friction B two can be thought as a damper between M two and M one. So since uh, Y two is going upward, so the forces from B two and K two will be forces. So we have uh, K two Y and b2 y dot and inertia m2 y double dot and then uh, k2 and b2 the spring k2 and uh, friction b2 are connected to m1 so we have forces from m1 so here we have k2 y1 sorry this is y2 and we have B2, Y1 dot. Okay, so this is uh, the free body diagram for M2. And we can uh, write the equation of motion.
Kalau ada benda lain Sekali lah Okay, so this is the equation of motion for free body diagram number one. Then we can write in uh, frequency, frequency response. Um, so it becomes Now let's look at uh, the second uh, mass, M1. Okay, so let's uh, look at how many components are connected to M1. So here we have spring K2 and friction B2 because of massless frame connected to M1. And then we have the massless platform. And this massless platform has uh, spring K1 over 2 times 2. There are two springs. And we have a damper B1 connected to another massless frame. And this, the, the bottom massless frame is connected to the input displacement. So we have uh, B2, K2, B1 and K1 connected to M1. So we have B2, Y1 dot, K2, y, Y1, B1, Y1 dot, and K1, Y1, okay, times 2. And then uh, K2 and B2 are connected to M2. So we have B2, Y2 dot and K2, Y2. Okay, so here we have inertia. So M1, Y1, double dot. Okay, so now the spring K1 and damper B1 are connected to Y0, okay? So we have the contribution from Y0, from K1 and B1. So you can treat uh, y, y0 as another degree of freedom. Okay, similar to uh, the lecture that I gave just now. So we have K1, Y0 and B1, Y0 dot okay so force k1 y not and another force b1 y not dot okay check and then uh, i think all of the forces are there then we can write the equation of motions
then we can write in terms of frequency. So we have two equations. Okay, so we have equation one here and equation two here. And you can write uh, in terms of uh, matrix. Okay. So for matrix, I usually start with y one. Okay. So um, I will start with equation number two. Okay, you will see y. Okay. Okay, so we have this matrix form and you can, uh, the question wants you to find Y2 over Y0. Okay, so meaning that you you have to find Y2, sorry, uh, Y0 here. So Y2 equals this matrix. So, uh, benda ni, maksudnya tak lah nak tulis ni. Okay. Too, uh, too long, okay. So you just replace this column into second column divided by okay this matrix again. Okay? Ini maksudnya taklah ada tulis. Tapi dalam lesson janganlah buat macam ni. Okay. So uh, just replace the sec uh, the the fourth column into the second column if you want to find y two. So if you want to find y one. Replace this into the first column. Okay, so that's it. Any question before we end this lecture? Yeah, maksudnya yang ini untuk dua soalan A dan B. Ah yes, yang cari transformation ni soalan B. Yang ni kan, yang yang dalam gambar uh, screen ni kan. Ah, untuk nombor tu kan. Yes, yes. So nanti uh, try try cari uh, nak saya check pun okey je. Tak nak saya check pun okey je. Okay so uh, that's it for this. Any question? Doktor boleh tak tengok balik yang A buat pada awal-awal tadi doktor? Pada FED tadi. Okay so uh, today is the third right? So ada quiz okay, kena hantar so. So please remember, don't forget to submit your quiz. Kuis mana dah tu? Yang terbaru lah tu? Dalam kalam. Kuis oh, satu. Lepas, oh minggu lepas punya tu eh? Haa. Uh -huh. oh, Okey tu dah. Ingat kan ada yang terbaru. Tak ada tak ada. Terbaru. Tu kan? Next dua minggu kot tak tahu lagi. 
and then um, your submission for project part one is next week, uh, 11, 11 midnight. So meaning that submit before, uh, submit on Sunday, okay? Jangan submit Monday. Uh, Monday, the auto tutup. Okay, so submit on Sunday. Okay, so if you don't have any question, we will uh, we will continue uh, next week on uh, in the next lecture. So we have learned about translational mechanics uh, for today for this week, and next lecture we are going to look at how to derive the trans function for rotational mechanical systems. So uh, that's it, and see you again, inshallah, on Monday. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Goodbye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.